Welcome back to another video of our database-backed web application. Our application works very nicely. We type in a word such as when for a search, and our jokes come out as a list of jokes that have the word when in them. In this video, we're going to improve the formatting, the look and feel of this page. I'm going to the internet, and I'm going to search for a formatting tool called jQuery UI. And so here we come to the page called jQuery UI slash accordion. jQuery UI is very similar to Bootstrap. It's a formatting tool using JavaScript and CSS to make your page formatting easier. On this page, we see an example of what an accordion is. If I click on these titles, you can see that the accordion is the idea of collapsing and showing different sections of a bunch of paragraphs. So this would work perfect for our formatting. We could have a joke title up here where it says section one, and then the joke answer in the hidden paragraph. Let's see what it says here on view source. How do they do this? In view source, we see down here below that there's a div ID equals accordion. And then each of these sections has a paragraph and a title. All the action for the animation occurs in the links up in the head. And so they're using something called a jQuery UI CSS file. They have some JavaScript and jQuery. They also have a JavaScript library called jQuery UI. And so we're going to just copy and paste all the stuff that they have in the title. So let's copy all of these areas and let's go back to our editing. I'm in the search keyword area. We need to add a header to the top of our page. So I'll type in a, the head and the close head and paste in my work. Part two, we have to model our formatting in our text below to look like theirs. Let's start with a header called div ID equals accordion. We'll copy that and then let's figure out where that's supposed to be in our code. It's the first line before anything gets put out to the table. So I'm going to go into this section right before the while loop. I want to end my PHP code and then start it up again. So I'm going to insert two lines. Inside here is where I can put in HTML. And then after the while loop, I can also say I'm going to end the div. So the accordion section begins here. We do some looping and then it's going to end there. We're going to put some comments in here. So we're going to redo the inside of the while loop. For each of these items in our list, we want to be able to format exactly as the code is on our jQuery UI template. So we need a H3 for our, our joke question. And then for the joke answer, we're going to put a div and a paragraph tag. So let's do the H3 and the joke question first. So let's copy this guy and let's go into here. So if I were to echo that out to the screen, I would get section one in my title. I don't really want section one. I want the joke question. So let's go up to the next row, the previous row, and let's copy the question right here. So I'll go to copy. And then in between the H3 tags, I'm going to paste this and we will have ourselves a joke question in our first part of the accordion. Let's go see what the other part was supposed to be. Once again, we're supposed to have a div and a paragraph. Then we'll have the joke answer, and then we'll close the divs and the paragraphs after that. So on this line, we're going to have echo, and we're going to have a div and then a paragraph, just like we're following the example from the code on the other page. And then we'll close these two. And inside there, we want to take the row with the joke answer and we'll copy him from there and we will put him on our new line. So let's go back to our page where we have the search results and I'm going to search for the word when. Now just to show you that errors pop up, we have something about an unexpected close bracket or period. What is going on? Line 38 is our problem. So let's go see where line 38 is. Line 38 is the close of our while loop. Now I didn't mess with the while loop, I was just coding in here. So I would suspect that the error is somewhere in my new code. 
And sure enough, I see I've lost a semicolon at the end of the line, and so it thought the echo and the bracket went together. So that's why the error occurred. Let's try that again. Refresh the page, and sure enough, this time I have a list of questions and their answers, and this time the uh, formatting is in the accordion form. Lastly, let's do some formatting for our titles here where it says looking for jokes. Let's go into our code and let's do a H1 header for the first line in our page. And then let's go up to the style area and do some font changes up here. Let's tell it to do the style and let's choose everything on the page and choose our regular font family to be Arial or Helvetica or Sans Serif. Once you've done that, you will notice we have a much nicer looking consistent font across the entire page. Now that's very simple formatting, but it does look nicer than what we had before. Now we use jQuery Accordion to make this happen. Just to let you know that you can use other formatting tools such as we could have continued on with Bootstrap. The Bootstrap Accordion works just as nicely as the jQuery UI Accordion. The code's a little bit different. So on this page here, we're looking at the Bootstrap JavaScript library. And so we could have used the accordion just like we did for jQuery UI. Let's see what theirs looks like. If I click on Try It Yourself, I can see a collapsible group down on below, on below here in this example. And it looks a lot like ours. So we happen to use jQuery UI. We could have used Bootstrap. We could have used a dozen of other different formatting tools. I just wanted to show you the difference of two popular items in formatting a web page. And so we formatted the output for these items and the question and the answers.